in this video i explain you how to forecast demand using multiple independent variables normally in economic textbooks we look at the demand function equals to various variables like price income taste and preferences likewise so in a practical uh, or in a real time how it would be and how to calculate that so here for our example i have taken a sales of a company and sales is an dependent variable and depends on independent variables like personal disposable income price of a product capital investment by the company and dealers allowances paid by the company amount spent on advertising and amount spent on sales and product development budget so these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these are independent variables which have influence on sales so using excel data analysis tool pack will solve the multivariate regression model or the demand forecast by using equation bit of 0 that is a constant then bit of 1 beta 2 beta n plus error term so to run a multiple regression analysis or uh, forecasting where you have a multiple independent variables first thing that we need to do is to calculate the regression anal uh, regression and correlation first we go with the correlation to find out whether there exists any relation between these variables so for that click on data and then go to data analysis in data analysis select correlation and click okay so in correlation once you click it it gives a window opens a window where input range click on a input range then select your data points that is both independent and dependent variable and now it is asking whether labels in the first row as yes, we have a labels in the first row that is sales price personal disposable income these are labels so labels and new worksheet output where you want in the same sheet or in a different sheet so for i prefer going uh, output in a different sheet so new worksheet will name this worksheet as a correlation and click okay So in a different sheet, you have a correlation values. We simply truncate these two uh, decimals, number, and with a two decimal value. And observe this. So sales are related with other variables. This dependent variable sales related to independent. Variables like personal disposable income, the correlation is 0.74. With the price, it is 0.29. Capital investment 0.4. Dealer relevance, advertising 0.53. Sales expenses. So, personal disposable income, sales expenses, then capital investments are strongly related with our sales, and this is called as a cross-order correlation. This table is called as cross-order. correlation so initially we find out the correlation between dependent variable and independent variable now we move to the regression analysis so correlation will uh, simply gives you what kind of a relationship exists between the independent and dependent variables next we look at the regression analysis so to perform a regression analysis click data go to data analysis then here choose regression then click okay and it is asking you to give input y range input y y is dependent variable in our case dependent variable is sales so here are our sales next input x range so x is our all our independent variables 
select all the independent variables then labels yes we have a labels and we, are, we want to check it at a 95 percent confidence interval and a worksheet then I name this as a regression and click OK now your regression is done now among all these values of the regression output things that we can we should look at is one is r square so r square is coefficient of a determination and it shows the impact of independent variables on the dependent variable we can confidently say that 85 percent of this 85 percent of this that is the sales depends on independent variables which we mentioned here and second is a standard error so standard error is also we are going to calculate in our equation so standard is the second and the third that we look, need to look at is the power values power values take a three decimals so power value any value which is less than or, or equal to 0 0.05 because we are taking a significance level of 5 percent so uh, here if, uh, if power value is less than 0 0.05 that means that particular variable has got influence on sales so that particular variable is significantly related to the sales so intercept that is a constant it is a p value is 0 which says that all the combining all the independent variables the sales are related next is personal disposable income then uh, we may consider price capital expenditure spent then advertising so among all the seven variables these four personal disposable income price capital investment and advertising ex expenditure these four have a significant relation with sales and uh, dealer relevance is also has some impact whereas sales expenses and product development expenses does not have much impact on our sales so once we create this then uh, so just copy these values So here now intercept is B0 and B1 is personal disposable income, prices is and uh, capital investment, dealer relevance, advertising, selling expenses and error term. Now how is that we are going to make a projection? So for example here are our projected values that is we are going to spend this amount so right click use pay special and transpose click ok so that is personal disposable income if personal disposable income is 485 and your selling price is 81.63 capital investment advertising and error and also standard error here from here we take a standard error standard error so this is a one so if standard error is this then what is our what would be our sales so sales we are saying that sales equals to b0 plus b1 that is beta 1 value multiplied by x1 that is 485 so for this to have a sales that is to make a sales forecast projected sales this y this equals to we use a excel function sum product
your sum product array 1 with array 2 so we need to make 5735 units of sales our projected sales when our expenditure is this So assuming that in future if you want to spend a personal disposable income of this amount price is this so our expected sales will be 5735 oh uh, selling price instead of 81 if you put 85 is your selling price then you need to sell that is your projected sales are 5684 so suppose if you spend a more on advertising so advertising it is 85 so that we increase advertising budget from 85 to 90 will it will it influence your sales yes sales will increase the projected sales will be 5726 units so this is how we calculate or we forecast sales by using multiple independent variables mm -hmm.